No, our lady Susan, my young bucko. When she needs Please. someone, she... Get that slacker on his face! Get on your face! That better. So don't be congratulating yourself for pulling a sneak act on me last night. Choking a man senseless from behind. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. You've got an awful hard noggin up with to get off the floor so fast after the whack I gave you. You thought that I was... Yeah, there. so if it's a notion you won out over me. Because you spent the night with her ladyship. You'll be blowing smoke rings out your bunghole. It's not how you do in bed. It's how you cut it here. Penny, you're a bloody loud has-been. Or as our lady Susan says... I'm going to lay it on you until you crawl into a hole like some yellow dog. Junk, sir. You keep out of this, Delady. This display, Irishman, is certainly not in the best interest of Lady Suzanne. I did not come here to educate. Instead, my intentions were to exchange a few words with your subaltern. Something personal. Hopefully, you will understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The two of you should be very docky together. <laughs> And you, keep on top of those swine. You and me, we'll do our thing later. May I expect you this night at my deeds for a vital supper? Not on your ass. Nous verrons ça, mon petit chou. Leave us, old man. Can't work with your leg like that. Come on. Out of the way where he won't see you. Bless your master. I pray for you. Pray for all of us. Get that nigger on his feet. He can't work. Bullshit! Come on, back on your feet! No. Going against me. This man is badly injured and cannot work. Move aside. Unless you want to stand in the way of my snake. All right, laddie. And I won't be responsible for any injury to the likes of you. No white man gets whipped on Blackmoor. Unless I do it. How can you keep that rabble in line when you fight amongst yourselves? Whip him. My God, why? Because I say so. You sure those other slaves you're no Molly Coddle? Well, you're not worth a farthing round here. I. If you can't do the job, I will. The whip. Don't whip the old man. Whip me. What do they call you, boy? I am Joshua. Vicar's son. Captain Delady tells me you're a troublemaker. I am born to trouble. Skin is black. Think not that he has come to destroy the law or the prophets but only to fulfill. Fulfilled, you say, preacher man. What your upstart son needs is to be fulfilled of this. No, not my son, but me. <sighs> then together! <laughs>
to come clean with me right now. Why are you at Blackmore? What's your game? <coughs> Begging your pardon, your ladyship, but your tub is ready. All right, get out. So, what is your game, Lord Sopwith? I beg of you, your ladyship. I find it most difficult to understand the modus operandi of Blackmore Plantation so quickly. I'm a peaceful chap by nature. And, uh, to whip a man for the first time is a difficult thing at best. It offends our civilized sensibilities. But why now? We are dealing with savages and you've got to show them who's boss. Soon it becomes easier and easier. The black snake becoming an extension of the arm, craving to administer punishment just as you crave. I was a slave too. A dumb cockney bird. Chipped out to a cat house in Port-au-Prince. By a smooth talking pimp from London town. But... There was a difference between me and the stupid slave. I had a profession, Ducky. The oldest one in the world. And I played me cards right. I made stupid old Alec think I was his one and only. I made him marry me and bring me back to Blackmore. And Alec died a happy man. <coughs> Captain Deladier, I have some private business I would like to discuss with Ronald Sopworth. If you don't mind. Je vais te donner ce poisson. On va s'en finir une fois pour tous. Apportez la serviteur ici à la chambre de la maîtresse Suzanne. Beating a day isn't enough. Oh, Jesus. Caution. I'll slice you the limb on. Wait! A snake of me, What the hell is going on here? Killing him is not the answer. If you want to turn their guts to water, you're going to have to come up with something special. Their blasted missionaries turned them into God save us Christians, cramming their woolly heads with empty words. Like equality, justice, and mercy. Oh, he whore. His own begotten son. Crucify the bastard! Je t'ai pour dit, et je t'ai pour répéter de ne pas m'emmerder. Non, tu ne m'as pas écouté. Mettre une couleur dans la maison de madame, ça c'est pas gentil. Alors, le capitaine et moi, nous avons décidé de te laisser ici. Ne bouge pas, ne bouge pas, ça ne te fera pas mal, ne bouge pas. À regarder le soleil. Oh, comment ça te fait mal Je suis désolé, mon pote. Ça, tu es marrant. Tu es excessivement marrant. Ah oui, tu sais, tu as causé à Barnabé de se faire mordre par des requins. Ah oui, ah oui, oh, regarde pas mon you can't be serious. What gives you the right to play the role of Pontius Pilate? Joshua's only crime was that he wouldn't stand proud like any man. Stop this obscenity, this inhumanity to this poor devil. Cut him down at once, I say. I beg of you. Command your mercenaries to stop this miscarriage of justice at once. God damn you, Susan, if you won't, I will. Sergeant Mamadou, pay attention.
troubled it for fear, me darling. <laughs> That's because you wouldn't listen to me. Crucify the boy, you say. Look what happens. The slaves get a martyr now. Their own private miracle. Oh, why won't he die? Why won't that bastard die? Don't ask me. Ask your young stud. The beautiful young man you can't keep your hands off. Uh, he got him really stirred up <gasps> now by trying to cut down Joshua from the blinking cross. Damn that, Ronnie. It was all his fault. <laughs> Laisse-moi tranquille. Je vous êtes seul avec lui. Oui. Oui, maîtresse Suzanne. Ronald, you fool. Get lost, you black-hearted bitch. You think those slaves appreciated what you tried to do? Even your black sluts turned against you. I'm the only one who gives a damn about you. Jocks would have you nailed to the cross. And Raymond, well, Raymond's just keen to buggy you. And I... And you? What do you want? I just want you by my side to share Blackmore with me. Providing... Providing you promise... Promise what? Promise not to bang that nigger bitch. That should not prove too difficult to do. What man could possibly withstand your sensual beauty for long? Say nothing of sharing the wealth of Blackmore Plantation. Yes, what if I do promise to give up my faithful Fiona? Would you send me off to Owen's Mouth Gully? Like my brother Jonathan! <laughs> I, my brother Jonathan! The Duffy! That's what they call him! Put you down for! Why? Why is it done, Joe? I should have known you were Jonathan's brother. You've got the same low tastes. You know why he can't talk. It's gone. Raymond, cut it out. And you know what else he can't do anymore? He can't screw those black bitches. Raymond? Oh, it is. Hold them! It was a pleasure, really. Jonathan was such a bore. Maybe he needs the same treatment. No, no, never. You promised him to me, après vous. He's all yours. Because they got a martyr now. Why won't he die? Even the whip doesn't phase him. We'll see about that. Three days ago. You should have died three days ago, nigger. Hey, I told ya, it's the savage's own private miracle. You don't listen to me. No, you see? The blighter won't die. Jock, sir? Yes? Whip him. Him up there. I want to watch. But that's daft. What? Uh, I, 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 I mean my brother. He won't even feel it. He's more dead than alive. Please, Jock, sir. Uh, uh, it just doesn't seem right. For me? Oh, that was before. It just... It just could be you and I. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, I don't know. Another young stud comes along, you throw me over again. I won't. I promise. Ronald, <laughs> he's just a boy. I was toying with him. Anyway, he's gone now. 